Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to be talking about SQL which stands for Structured Query Language. I'm going to talk about the guidelines used to write SQL statements or query. I'm also going to mention Toad which is a software tool used to develop and administer databases. SQL is a language used to communicate with databases. They are used to create, read and delete. So they are used to create, read, update and delete information from databases. SQL is a standards language. It's a language that belongs to the American National Standards Institute. A N S I. There are slightly different variations of the SQL language which have their own proprietary syntax that are specific to the RDBMS. RDBMS stands for Relational Database Management System. All Relational Database Management System, RDBMS, has to be compliant to the ANSI. In order for them to be compliant, they need to support certain commands in the same way. These commands are select, update, delete, insert, and where. They must all be supported in the same way for them to be compliant. Next, I'm going to look at the SQL guidelines, guidelines to writing SQL statements. These guidelines are not set in stone, so they are just a guide, so you don't have to follow them, but it may help if you do. I personally, I am guilty of this. For example, I tend to write a lot of my queries in uppercase, you know, but it's something I'm used to, but you can choose or try 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 just play around with it and see what suits you best so SQL guidelines to writing SQL statements SQL statements are not case sensitive so you can write them in uppercase lowercase you can mix them up it'll still work SQL statements can be on one or more lines so you can have a statement on one line or spread it across several lines. Keywords, they cannot be abbreviated, so you can't shorten a quickly keywords or split them across lines. It's the best practice to place close on separate lines, to place a semicolon at the end of the last close. You can use tabs and indents to make the codes more readable by formatting them. Keywords typically can be entered in uppercase. All other words such as table names and columns are entered in lowercase. But again, it's not compulsory. It's up to you. Keyword clause statement. Statement is also sometimes referred to as a query. A keyword refers to an individual SQL element. An example could be SELECT and FROM. SELECT and FROM. These two are keywords. A clause is part of an SQL statement. For example, SELECT, first name, last name, is an example of a clause. A statement, on the other hand, is a combination of two or more clauses. For example, SELECT from employees is an SQL statement. TOAD TOAD stands for Tool for Oracle Application Developer. This is a software used to administer and develop different relational databases like Oracle, Microsoft SQL Server, MySQL and a host of others. 
there is a free version and also a 30 days commercial version of this software. It's very useful and extremely popular. It's packed with several features. Toad is the interface we're going to use to write all my SQL statements for this course. It's very, very useful. You can, I can connect to the database using Toad and other, other, it's got other uses as well, apart from just working with databases, they can be used for modeling. There is a version of Toad that can be used for data modeling, so it's extremely useful. But for the purpose of this course, I'm going to be using Toad specifically for writing the SQL queries and connecting to the database, the local database for this course. I'm going to be mainly using the Toad editor, the editor part of the Toad software. Just to recap, in this video I spoke about SQL, which stands for Structured Query Language. It's a language used to communicate with databases. Um, it's a standard language, which can have several variations. I also mentioned that for the different relational database management systems to be compliant with the ANSI, the American National Standards Institute, they must all support certain commands in the same way. The commands are select, update, delete, insert, and where. I also mentioned the guidelines used to write in SQL statements or query. These are just guidelines. They are not strictly followed. I also mentioned Toad, which is a software tool used to administer and develop databases. I thank you for your time in watching this video. I hope the information has been useful.